So I feel like it's really kind of strange that I was here a long time ago and now I'm here for the resurgence. You know, I feel a lot of creatives are really insecure. Uh, so you're putting something out there hoping that someone likes it. And there, there's this thing that I, you have to do. You have to say, you have to tell yourself, if they hate it, I feel this way. If they love it, I feel this way. It's almost like you have to maintain that same feeling because otherwise your emotions are up and down. Edits came about, uh, I had been with a company for a really long period of time. I was tired. I was just ready to do something different. And uh, the opportunity came about. Thank you. No, go ahead. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for coming. It's our first night. I'm not nervous or stressed out at all. Uh, so this is going to be your mixing bowl. Wow. Um, this is our first night. Henrietta was my mother. I shortened it to Etta. Um, and this is just the dream that I've had for a long time. And I'm really, really happy that all of you are here. So thank you very, very much. And the clients from 5015 are my clients here. Etta's was built there, partially built there. But the clientele that I built to be able to open this place, they're the same people. At 5015, that kitchen, I feel like so at home, it's so small, I know where everything is. The height of everything is perfect. The, the flow is going back and forth. The music's playing like it feels good. Um, I think that's the whole thing. Just the, the restaurant culture, the restaurant bar culture, the hustle of it, that's the best part. That's, that's the best part. It's also the most challenging part. Sometimes you don't want to deal with that shit. Some days, like when you walk out, everybody's happy with the food. You know, people are giving you toast from across the room. You know, you're touching tables, people are happy, you're sharing. You know, you're giving some love, they're giving it. Oh, that's the, that's the best. The best. Can't beat it. Oh, my mother. Hands down. Well, and it came, which came from my grandmother. So. Um, like if you go back into my grandmother's home and see like patterns or plants or uh, things that she was sentimental sentimental about, those things are, are naturally the things that, I'm, that I gravitate towards. I love gilded gold frames or, or plants or whites and neutrals and, and then my mom took that to this sort of hippie thing where she tripled the plants, tripled the wood. We had a huge, huge wall. It was a complete brick fireplace. The whole wall it was probably like 15 feet. Um, we had a small home in the country and she was just decorated with plants and patterns and pillows. So all that comes from my mama. This whole thing for me is about, essentially it's about adventure. I'm trying to do whatever job I, I have if there has to be some sort of adventure involved in it otherwise I'm bored take people on the adventure Premium with me. Like right now we're in Mexico City, we've been to the markets, we had a great breakfast we made the other day, we're going back to the market, we're gonna make a great dinner. I think I'd love to bring people with me.
Oh, it's a meditative space. Premiumbeat.com. Completely, me I'm gone. Like, pretty, pretty gone. Unless I'm like in some really hardcore, actually, even if I am in a stressful situation, if I'm cooking, I'm in most likely nine times out of ten, I'm in that zone. I'm in the cooking, so you're building, so you can't really have outside influences going on. That, that's why it's difficult for me sometimes to teach a class, because I like to cook solo, because I was a personal chef for a long time, or, or the or cooking uh, over other people, and I was generally by myself making decisions. When I'm cooking, it's just, I'm, bye-bye. If you walk in and say something to me, I'm probably not paying attention to you. Like I'm cutting, I'm trying to figure out what flavor profile I'm building, where I'm going with that, if I haven't made it before. Um, the timeline. It's actually a really great space to be in when you're solo. Uh, I mean, especially after working in Mexico or the Cayman Islands and the beaches. Generally, there's like a window, there's wind blowing, there's no AC, but you're in the kitchen with the stove and all these fresh fruits and vegetables and really really amazing so that yeah, I think that's where I am it's sort of like a peaceful state for the most part even if it's in a stressful situation there's some form of peace to be found in it uh, we were at Quintanilla last night and I think it was like seven or eight courses I would have to say Music bed. It's probably one of the best experiences I've ever had, meal-wise. Like, pretty much brought tears to my eyes. I had to like stop for a moment. It was amazing. Textures, flavors that I've I've never tasted together before. Um, it was a really incredible experience. Uh, uh, pink mushrooms. Music bed. But it was so deep for me in that moment. I felt like I just felt like I felt like there was this glass dome around me and I was solo experiencing it all by myself because when I had that last course and tears were brought to my eyes that was so real when I took that first bite and I'd never experienced anything Music like bed. that before I just really wanted to stop and cry it was so amazing because I, it was so real in that moment to me that I just needed to just like I just had to take it in it was unbelievable um, I think it was the whole experience, the, the technique, the, the love that went behind it. The guy brought us into his kitchen. Do you know what I mean? That's a huge deal. He gave us a tour of his garden. So we've got, and he's sampling out. I mean, the guy's lived in Scandinavia. He's in Scandinavia before he's here. I mean, that, that in itself is incredible. So we know he comes from where he's coming from, the style of food he's been cooking. He's Music bed. It was just, I think the whole experience for me was wonderful. <laughs> San Juan market that's one of the largest and I knew because they kept saying um, market mercado exotico exotico and I was like oh we're about to get some crazy stuff and I've been wanting to cook with rabbit yes well you know it's cherry season it's big season and the first thing I thought was grilling them in my life is huge because of my dad. Um, the 
because my dad was a business owner in Dirt Board. Um, it's just where I was when I was a kid. It's where I spent a lot of time with him, cruising around with him, going to his bar to check on it, or going to his other bar, or my uncle, my uncle Clarence who had another bar, or my dad who had a mechanic shop. It's just the neighborhood I grew up in. I have so many fond memories of Almeida and my my brother, or um, I can hear my dad's voice talking about certain things. So when I when I cruise the neighborhood, it goes back, like it's it's childhood for me.